Oh mate, uh, why should Gold Coast get around the rugby this weekend? Well, I mean, it's a, it's an amazing place to come and support professional sport. I mean, we've got you know, some of the greatest rugby players in the world, you know, gracing the field here on the Gold Coast, and it doesn't happen very often. So, grateful for that opportunity. Grateful to be able to get out there myself and support the team. And I was out there last time they played against Argentina, and you know the fans got behind them. And I think the ARU's done a great job of you know, giving fans the opportunity to bring a mate for free. Uh, which is fantastic. You know, they've, they've made the tickets really affordable, and um, they're going to see world-class rugby. You know, on the on the on the on a home stage. So it's not very often you get to see the All Blacks. You know, who you know, without doubt, over the last 100 years have been the premier side of world rugby. You know, we've got our national side play against you know the Springboks, who are you know multiple multiple world champions. You know, we've got you know the best players in the world here. I mean, if you are not excited by that as a rugby fan, not even as, as a sports fan. Um, you know, you, I don't know, you, 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 you got to have your head red, don't you? Um, and I guess there are more, there are bigger things at stake as well with this World Cup in 2027. A chance for Gold Coast to really put their hand up and demand a, a game when that does roll around. Yeah, absolutely. Look, we've got world-class facilities here on the Gold Coast now and, um, you know, the World Cup, it's, it's almost like a mini World Cup, isn't it? I mean, we're going all over the state you know, from here to Townsville, back to Brisbane, back to the Gold Coast. And it's a good test for the ARU uh, to manage all that, but it's also a good good test for the Australian fans to get out and show, you know, um, the RFU that, you know, we're behind the game. And, you know, we're fortunate in Queensland that we're not locked down. You know, we can get out, we can support our, our, our local and our national team, our state and national teams. And I'm sure the Australian or the Gold Coast public are going to do that on the weekend. Do you want to give a message out to people of the instruction? What should they do? Well, you know, as, as Gold Coasters, I'd say get, get behind our team. This is our Australian team. This isn't, you know, our state team or your local team. This is Australia. And, you know, good, bad or indifferent as the team's going, you know, I don't, I don't care who they're playing, my heart bleeds green and gold. And, um, you know, I'm, I'm excited to get out there and support them. And I hope all the Gold Coasters are as well. I'd throw the book at Tommy Turbo. <laughs> I don't think he's coming, but um, look, at the end of the day, you know, it was the same for me. The, the Rugby World Cup in 2003 was a huge carrot. I remember sitting in the stand, I snuck out of the dressing room before the first game against France when the opening ceremony was on. It brought tears to my eyes sitting there and understanding the enormity of what I was a part of. It's easy to look at it from afar and go, wow, it's an amazing event, but when you're in it and you're a part of it, it is truly magical. It's just something special. and. You know, they're memories that I'll keep with me for the rest of my life. You know, some of the greatest memories, probably some of the greatest guys and created friendships that will last a lifetime. And, and I, I would recommend anybody to, to, you know, if you had the opportunity to be a part of it, I'd grab it with both hands. It's pretty special. What do you make this current Wallaby side and where they're at? What do you think it's going to take to be able to compete with the All Blacks? I think we've just got to cherish the ball. You know, as, as, a, as a Wallaby side, you know, we're playing a little bit more expansively, but we're sort of turning the ball over a little bit too much and it's costing us. And you now that's for the coach to decide whether they persist with that expansive style of game or they go to a little more structured and, you know, maybe score less points, but, you know, focus on your defence and, and limit them to, to less points. But, um, but we've got some enormous talent in the team. I think, you know, when you've got such a large squad, you know, it's easy to think, oh, we need to take that guy out, put this guy in. But, you know, teams within the team are really important. And we've got to start to really foster those combinations and persist when things aren't going quite as well as what we'd like. Um, I think, you know, the team's, the team's doing well. Obviously not well enough. They're not winning as many games as they want. But I think there's a, there's a, there's a bright future ahead. What is that you'd like to see Wade getting go this weekend? Is there any changes Yeah. Oh, look, I think Quaid is just an out-and-out -out star of the game. Um, are his best days behind him or ahead of him? Who knows? But, you know, he needs an opportunity to, to see that. Um, I think he's a freak. You know, I'd love to see him playing. Um, but at, at whose expense? That's, that's the thing. Do you, do you persist with what we're going with at the moment or do you bring Quaid in and, and give him a run? Um, I'd just love to see more clean ball out to guys like Jordan Patea and just see him with, with some open space. And the more things you change inside him, the more work you've got to do on those combinations to try to get him the ball. You know, he's, he's playing with new players every week. 
you know, it's hard for him to understand where to put himself to get those balls and you know to give him the give him the opportunities that we need guys like him with the ball in his hands. So um, look, that's for the coaches to decide. I'm, I'm not one to, to, to be telling telling coaches what they should and shouldn't be doing. Um, I, I think we've just got to get it right with our with our ball control and, and not turn the ball over as much. Oh mate, uh, can you tell us what we're doing out here today? What are we doing out here? We're um showing Australia, showing the world how good the Queensland is, the Queensland weather, how good the Gold Coast is and how good Australia is uh, to possibly host the World Cup uh, and, you know, hopefully helping us with a bid and, you know, drumming up a bit of love for, for the Wallabies and, uh, you know, the, the games that are about to be in Queensland, mate. It's, um, it's exciting for the, the public here. Uh, I don't think that there's been that much rugby um, in the one spot for a long time. Uh, so I'm really, really looking forward to obviously starting this weekend um, and it, heading into the next few weeks. Why is Australia such a great host for a Rugby World Cup? Uh, well, I'm biased, you know. I, I played my first Rugby World Cup 2003. Um, you just have to look at this, look at the weather. Uh, it'll probably be played around this time of the year. Um, I just think we, that we've got the facilities. Uh, we've got people who, who want to come and watch the game. Uh, uh, a knowledgeable rugby public as well, um, and a knowledgeable sports public. Um, I think they supported in droves last time uh, uh, when we played in 2003. I remember playing in places like Adelaide, uh, uh, Perth. Uh, you know, everyone came out and, and supported what was a great tournament. Uh, but I think you'll see over the next couple of weeks here in Queensland um, how much we love our footy and our sport in general. Um, so I'm really looking forward to either getting to the game um, or sitting back on the couch in my time rather than staying up till about one or two in the morning and, and having to wait for it. So looking forward to it. Yeah, I'd have to say it's probably right up there. You know, although we didn't win it, um, I, I was really, I, I guess, happy and uh, there was a, a lot of excitement in and around. Um, what the tournament was at the time uh, and it, for me it was a big carrot to, to come over to play rugby. Um, I, I, I'd won a, a competition with the Broncos at the time and I, I'd, I'd done a fair few things and um, I think the fact that the competition or the Rugby World Cup was in Australia was um, was probably a little bit of the thing that tipped me over the edge to sign the dotted line to, to play rugby and uh, you know I, I had a great tournament, great memories. Yeah, we could see that happen, uh, but you know, we're, I think although we're not getting the results at the moment, uh, I think with this young group coming through, I think the more time they spend together over the next couple of years, uh, I'll, I'll, I think they'll be right um, come 2027. I, I know uh, people want success at the moment, uh, but I think they've got to stick strong, but I, I think at that time, 2027, you know, you might see one or two come across. I think that's not beyond the realms of possibility. If people want to bring the World Cup to Australia, what do they have to do? If people want to bring the World Cup to Australia, what do they have to do? Um, I don't know, mate. I think we've just got a great product here. We've just got a great, uh, you know, you bring bring it to us. Bring it to us. on. <laughs> I don't know what to say that one. Yeah. Well, do you reckon it's uh, show out in force in this weekend and oh, sorry. in a month's yeah, yeah, time? Yeah, and, yeah. Uh, if people want to bring the World Cup out to Australia, yeah, well, go out and show your support. I think that there's games here in, on the Gold Coast, Brisbane. We've got regional Queensland as well. Uh, and I know there's a thirst for, for live sport action um, in, in those centres. And, and I think you'll see them come out in droves. Uh, country, Queensland have always loved uh, watching the bigger games. Um, and you, you'll see that over the next couple of weeks. So come out and support um, the Wallabies. Come out and support. I know there's a heap of Kiwis in Australia as well. I reckon they'll be out in force as well. So uh, there'll be some good uh, results and good games, I think. I think you'll be surprised how um, yeah, the Wallabies are building over these next couple of weeks, I reckon. What do you think this current squad is missing? What are they need to make it? Uh, what are they missing? I just think they're missing experience, mate. Nothing, nothing, nothing beats experience. Nothing beats shared experiences together and, and growing as a group. Sorry, mate. Right. I, I think uh, you know that that '99 team. I think they went through a fair bit 
uh, when they uh, before they they won the final um, in France, uh, sorry in Cardiff, um, they had a down period for for a while there. I think from after the '95 World Cup, if you go through history, um, and they built up, built up, built up to to win that '99. I wasn't a part of that, but I knew I knew part of that story. Uh, and these guys are probably in a similar boat. You know, I, I think if you, for successful teams, you've got to have shared experiences in, in, in both having bad luck and, and in good times. And I think we're having our fair share of bad luck at the moment and results not going our way, but that what, that's what makes it, that's what builds that um, toughness going into um, a World Cup and hopefully be, they'll be ready by then. Easy. Uh, if I was a coach selector, I've always liked Blake Cooper. Uh, you know, I, I think he's um, he's in there, the squad. Uh, he's been in there around that team for a while. Um, I'm not saying Noel Alessio is not the option. I think Noel probably needs a bit of a, a rest at the moment. Put him out. Uh, he's only a young guy, um, and you know, building that constant pressure every week, it, it can get a bit tough. Uh, he's only young in his, his Wallaby career, so I think give him a, a week or two off, <coughs> let Quaid take take some of these games that, <coughs> that, uh, <coughs> that can help, take the pressure off him, and then uh, you know, that, and then Noah can come take over, probably the last couple of games or something, but that's, that, that's what I'd do.